Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News break, I'm Derek Booth. Fire destroyed a century-old church in Winder late Thursday night. Firefighters believe lightning may have sparked the blaze at the Sanctuary of the Holy Spirit on West Candler Street. There's no word yet if that church will be rebuilt. Forsyth County authorities confirmed that the man pulled out of Lake Lanier Thursday afternoon has died. Forsyth County Fire Captain Jason Shiver says the 44-year-old man was pulled out of the water in the area of West Bank Park off Buford Dam Road around 3.45 p.m. Shiver says authorities performed CPR on the man and took him to Northside Hospital for Scythe. Forsyth County Sheriff's Office spokeswoman Carlene Chalker says the man, whose identity has not been released, was pronounced dead at the hospital. The whole county commission is applying pressure to the school board to set its millage rate. Commissioner Craig Lutz Thursday night said he wants the staff to examine its agreement with the school board to see if a penalty might be appropriate. However, school board chairman Nath Morris said he was surprised to hear of the urgency in the matter. In other news, Georgia's highest court has denied the state's request to expedite an appeal in the case of a death row inmate. The Georgia Supreme Court Monday granted a stay of execution to Warren Lee Hill so it could consider his appeal involving Georgia's recent change in its execution drug protocol. Georgia voters have only a few more hours to cast an early ballot ahead of Tuesday's primary election. Early voting in Georgia opened July 9th. Voters were allowed to vote on a Saturday under new election rules approved earlier this year by the legislature. With this Access News Break, I'm Derek Booth.